And as usual, I want to share with you the most common mistakes I see. Number one, no activity at all on the stand leg. So you use only your free leg. Number two is direction of the kick. That's the wrong action. That's the wrong direction during the kick. And number three is problem of the heavy leg. So the axle goes down, down during the kick. This is how your stands and legs supposed to work during jive kicks. We start from the exercise. In jive, you always have to feel that your feet are active. And heel is touching the floor only. So you don't hold the weight on the heel for a long time. That's the exercise. One, two, three, four. So you have a bounce on the right leg, bounce on the left. Heel works. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, when we have a, a giant kicks, our standing leg is always active, our standing foot. So it's always one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So first, start from this exercise. Try to start with this exercise and feel that you always constantly on the ball of the foot and you use your standing leg. Number three, the problem of the heavy leg action during the jive kicks. Remember, our axis doesn't go down. We always have to rebound our foot up. So you start the action of the kick from the lifting action. Up, one up. So you have a right away return. Two, now you can take a step. Again, up, one up, two. So you always have a return of the leg. And the axis will go not one, not down. your passe position and then you can step out uh, one up two and yeah, so when we have a giant kicks we always dance one up two one up two one up two as soon as possible you would like to you should return your knee back but not hold it down now it's time for me to show you with music the time my mama she told me to worry about the side is scooping action during the child kicks. So instead of to move your leg up, down, up, we will use the action up, down, up, and E. So I will show you. Leg is going up, down, up, and we'll bring it in. So we return that way. And the same is your right leg. Up, down, bring it up, and bring your knee. So every time when you dance the child kick with the scooping action, it should look like that. One, uh, two. One, uh, two. One, uh, two. So with this move, movement, your child kicks will look much lighter and more smooth. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and if you'd like to learn something else, please comment below. Also, if you like my practice swear, you can find all information in the description below and see you soon guys!